Hey guys, welcome back to Mike Builds. On today's video, we're gonna try to do some welding using this Champion Generator. So I wanted to do some welding in the field and I didn't wanna spend $2,500 to $3,000 on a engine driven generator. So in order to do the cheaper way, I wanted to try this way first. Plus I wanted to get kind of a big generator anyways. So we're gonna be using this Champion power equipment. This is 10,000 starting watts, 8,000 running watts, and it's also dual fuel. So you can run this on propane. So it's got the little thing here. It's got a electric start. And the biggest reason I picked this model specifically, 458 cc's, but the reason I picked this model specifically is because it has this style big plug in it. And I'm gonna buy an adapter to go from this to a three prong welding plug. This is like a dryer plug. And then I wanna try to run like a big stick welder or my TIG welder, because those are all 240 volt or even a plasma cutter. But anyways, in today's video, just to prove how, you know, if this thing even works or not, because this is brand new, if we can even weld with this or not, I'm gonna try welding with my titanium. Now in theory, this thing should run it no problem, but I've seen some other videos in the past where like if you, if this thing's rated for 15 amps and you run it on like a 4,000 watt generator, the welds don't weld good. You don't get the same penetration you would out of the wall or whatever. Cause a lot of the times, you know, the Chinese generators are, they're kind of overrated for what they can actually do. So if you're gonna try to weld with a generator, it's always better to get the biggest one you can get. And yeah, that's also part of the reason I went with this big one. But anyways, just as a test, we're gonna connect this flux core welder to the generator. We're gonna get it started up. We're gonna warm it up and we're gonna do some welding. I'm gonna weld on half power and I'm gonna weld on full power. And in this video, you guys should be able to hear how the generator reacts and kind of get an idea how feasible it is. Because if you go to a bigger machine, like a 220 machine that uses a lot more power, you know, if your generator can barely keep up with something like this, it's not gonna be able to keep up with that. You're gonna get poor penetration or the, engine's gonna bog so much, your frequency's gonna drop, your voltage might start doing some crazy things, and that's not really good for your welders. So this is more of a proof of concept just to see if we can do it. It shouldn't have a problem doing it. I mean, this thing's pretty big. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get you guys set up on the tripod. We're gonna get the generator started and warmed up, and we're gonna do a bit of welding. And then once I'm done, I'll show you guys how it looks, and I'll give you all my overall thoughts on doing this. All right guys, so there it was at full power. And then there it was at half power. I didn't clean any of it off. But the penetration on the welder felt fine. I mean, it, it felt just as hot as it would be if I plugged it in the wall. I have used this welder a lot. So yeah, I felt like using this setup, there was no compromise. I didn't feel like the welder was losing power and it didn't sound like the generator was really struggling. I did take a look at the frequency while I was welding and it dipped down to about 58, 59 Hertz for about one second, but then the engine would quickly recover 
But that's one of the main reasons if you're gonna do this, you kinda wanna go with an oversized generator for the welder because these things do have kind of a big inrush. And if your inrush is too hard and your engine can't keep up, that's when you get the bad surging. And if the engine surge is too hard, you know, the frequency could dip, it could hurt the welder because this is a non-transformer welder. This is all digital. So, and these things don't put out the cleanest power. I would prefer to use an inverter generator, but I'm kind of worried about trying to weld with an inverter generator just because welders are so harsh on equipment. But this is more of a proof of concept. And as y'all saw, it worked perfect. So I would have no qualms about taking this thing out to the middle of nowhere and welding a bunch of stuff with it. And it actually worked better than I thought. So anyways, I just wanted to make this small video just to kind of demonstrate how well this actually does work. And if you're gonna do something similar, I would recommend you get the biggest generator you can get. And I don't think you'll have any problems. So on the next video, we're gonna try stick welding and maybe some TIG welding and maybe some plasma cutting and just do a bunch of fab work. I will say this though, if you're gonna do a lot of fab work using a generator, just be careful not to overheat or overload the generator because that, you know, you don't wanna damage the stator or anything like that. And just be aware of your duty cycle of your work and all that. But I think if you follow all those things, you won't have any problems doing this. But anyways, guys, I'll see y'all on the next one.